Today we're going to take you along with us to one of our favorite nurseries here in Tucson, Mesquite Valley Growers. We'll check out their tropical house. It's one of their newest greenhouses that they built just for tropical indoor houseplants, aeroids, palms, and succulents. I really like the idea of doing the jungle look. Like see like a big monstera and then up here this big pillow. Wait, is that a philodendron or is that the Thamathophyllum bipinnatifidum? I'm not sure. But what do you think about these big lush plants? They're pretty big. <laughs> they, they, would, they would make a nice jungle setup. Yeah. Get soda. Okay. They've got Syngonium winlandii here. Look how pretty those are. Wow, they're so velvety. Those are really gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna cut through the desert garden area with all the cacti. Oh, look at those little rainbow cacti. So cute, so precious. Look at, oh, they're so sweet, aren't they? I just love how they get those pink stripes on them. We're gonna check out the tropical house, indoor plants and succulents. That makes a really beautiful centerpiece. Look at that cycad. Look at that elegant arch to the fronds. Just such a sculptural statement plant. Scandapsis exotica. Oh wow, look at the huge leaf on that. Oh my gosh, that new leaf on this monstera is massive. It's, growing, it's got like three fenestrations before it gets to the split. That's a massive leaf. I would love to have that in my house. So this business is still owned by the same people who started it and they started this like over 40 years ago. They've been in the same location and they've built this place from the ground up. And this is one of their newest greenhouses. They used to have all the tropicals and houseplants in a different greenhouse, but they just built this, I think last year or the year before. Anyway, it's a, it's a very new greenhouse that they have here. And this was an old tree that I guess was dying. And so they ended up chopping it down, you know, and they left a huge amount of the, the stump and tree, like as much as they could leave. And they just built their greenhouse over it, which I think is awesome because now they're able to use it for hanging plants on and they've got their moss hanging on it and all these plants growing around it. But I love coming here because they set it up so beautifully. They have all these fountains and it's just a really nice experience to come here and check everything out. Right now I'm actually looking for a palm. Look at the little lady palm flowers. Lady palms are beautiful. These are the Rapus excelsa. So lady palms or Rapus excelsa have these really lovely dainty petioles and these perfect little fans on the end of each petiole. These beautiful little fronds. And then inside, if you look at the stem, it has almost like this coconut husk fiber on their stems. That earthy brown just really creates nice contrast with the dark green foliage. Monstera adansonii, nice baskets of them. That's like an eight inch basket for $44.95. So I've been looking for these little palms. This is not an areca palm, although the tag says areca. The growers, not Mesquite Valley growers, but the growers where they got this from, whoever shipped them to them, I think they just put the, the wrong tag on there. But this is a, a Commodoria elegans. Which stem? I'm looking for one that has a nice fat stem on it. So I'm thinking between these two. This is the low light section. This is where we got our Kintia palm. They have these beautiful Kintia palms here and I was looking forever to try to find one and they finally got them in here. They're absolutely gorgeous palms. They have this beautiful drape to the frond. See how it just, I mean like the, the shape of the, the leaflets and the drape of the palm frond. Really elegant palms and they're excellent for low to medium light uh, or at least indirect light. They, they don't require sun like a lot of other palms want a lot of sun. So they're really excellent for indoors. Right next to it is a fishtail palm. That one is 300. That's qu quite tall. That's too big for my house. I don't have tall ceilings, <laughs> but that is a really beautiful fishtail. I, I think fishtail palms are another gorgeous palm. Really into the palms. Palms and big lush jungly aeroids. Okay, I'm, me and the giraffe are hanging out back here. I'm checking out these palms. I was thinking I was just gonna get a four inch size. And that's, that's the one that I would get if I get that size. But they still have this one that I saw last time I was here. And I really like this a lot. It's older, but it's, you know, it's a bit chewed up. It looks like I got a little chewed on here. It's, it's a little beat up on some of the fronds, but it's putting out new fronds. How do the roots look? That's what really matters. I kind of would want to slip it out of the pot and check out the roots inside. So maybe I can check the bottom. Here, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll lift the plant up and 
take a look at the bottom. Let me set the camera down. I just want to take a peek at the bottom and see. See, I could slip it right out and take a look at this. Should I, should I do that right now? It's hard to tell what's happening down here. Okay, let's just take a quick peek. There is some root rot happening down there. This poor thing needs to be repotted. It has some white healthy roots here that are growing, but it does have some mushy roots at the bottom. Huh, okay. Well, do I rescue it and try? Or do I just leave it here to continue rotting? Mm. It's so hard to walk away from a plant. All right, guys, Elizabeth, who works here, she is amazing. She just found these two in the back for me. Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna be leaving this one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with one of these. It has one broken palm frond here, but that's okay. We can clip that off. Commodoria elegans is a singular palm, so it doesn't grow in a clump. So when you buy a pot that has multiples, if you separate those, it's gonna grow bigger, hardier, and faster than if you leave it in a clump. I mean, it's pretty and bushy in a clump, but I think they look really elegant when you only have like one or two, like this one has two and that looks really pretty. Okay, between all the elegans, I think I'm gonna go with this one here, the big, bushy, uh, large pot of them. I think there's basically like four sets of two in here. So I think I'll have more fun playing with that one, separating them out, and the roots look healthy on that. And I'm gonna put this small one back. That's a beautiful little palm. For only $14.95, you get a really nice elegance. Okay, so I'm going to put this back for somebody else. I'll put it right in the front there so someone can see it because I think that is the best one. It's, it's definitely got the biggest, um, it's growing the fastest. It's got the biggest, nicest fronds, so hopefully someone will come and rescue it. So this palm up here, where there's just two stalks growing in the pot, and it looks so dainty and elegant, that's what I want to do with this palm here. Separate them out and grow them so they grow like that one. It's like a beautiful jungle in here when they're doing the mist for the humidity. Okay, I'm gonna take this up to the front and have them hold it, and then I'll come back and look around some more with you guys. Such beautiful leaves on those Calathea. I think after taking time, kind of experimenting with growing different types of plants in your home environment, you know, in your own climate, it, you get a feel for what you enjoy growing. And we grow through different phases too. I'm gonna say grow. <laughs> we go through different phases, but we also grow through different phases. And right now I am just loving the look of palms and big, like lush, jungly, or uh, I almost said orchids. <laughs> well, I like orchids too. I, I was spacing out, I was thinking about this while I was trying to talk. Uh, the big, jungly, lush aeroids. I know the aesthetic and the look that I want to create, but sometimes it just takes time getting there, you know? Look at this Raphidophora tetrasperma growing all over the trunk of the tree. That's actually a really nice plant to grow. Like, I really enjoy growing those. I've grown a few of them. I grew them tall and they, they vine really well. They climb really well. And then once they got to like the top of wherever I was growing them to, I just would sell them off. And uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have kept one. I might eventually get another one. I do love the look of how they grow, especially when it's like growing all over like this. I kind of I kind of wish I had that in my house. <laughs> I, I kind of love the look of that. And then with the, the palms, I mean, isn't it a lovely combination? the lush jungle aeroids with the palms. I mean, especially this Kintia palm. This is a Kintia palm right here. So the Kintia palm is endemic to Lord Howe Island off the east coast of Australia. Oh my gosh, these, these palms are just spectacular. They're so gorgeous. And they have these huge clumping Rapus excelsa, the lady palms, all throughout this greenhouse. Is that a single pot? Yes, that's all coming from one pot. These are really nice indoor palms though too, and they're good for like hotels, you know, hotel lobbies. And just because they're low maintenance, they're easy care, they can handle a variety of conditions, you know, lower light, lower humidity, and they don't like freak out on you too much. I love that the Mykins are available now all over, like in the big box stores too. Look at this beautiful copper fountain up here, I love this. or Fujium Draconicum variety Gigantium. <laughs> say, that, say that three times fast. Giant leopard plant. They're cute. They're almost like these chunky little lily pads. Another one of my favorite Calatheas, the Orbifolia. Those are so pretty. 
but oh, I love that fountain. It's just so cool. I love, it's huge too. What sort of plants are you into growing? I love these Adansonii. I love Monstera. Monstera are just such delightful plants to grow. I wonder how long it'll take my lady palm to get to this size. They're slow growing, so they're a more expensive palm. Usually when you see them, they're not, they're not usually on the, they're not like the price of a majesty palm. Let's just say that. They're normally a higher price because they are slow growing and it takes a while for them to get to that size there. We get another lovely Monstera. They can't help but command your attention, you know? Such, such lovely plants. Club moss, ferns, some bromeliads. What else do we have in here? That's a nice little bromeliad. Isn't that cute how it's getting watered by the, the fountain? It just splashes into its cup. And that's how, how they get water, is through their cup. This is a, like the little house of the Hoya and Peperomia. They're crawling all over. And see, these are plants that I never really got into growing either, so I don't really know much about them. More Hoya. Now we're in the succulent section. I do love cacti too because I love the desert look, desert landscaping. Oh, these are super cute. These are Mammillaria polyphyli. Really, really cute when they when they get their little wool on top. They have this pure white, like snow white wool, and it'll get really thick. And then they have these really pretty pink flowers. It's just like a, a halo of pink flowers. I love the pastels of succulents. They're so pretty. There's some really chunky Sansevieria. What do they call that one? Sansevieria starfish. So if you're in Tucson, definitely check out the Tropical House. It's this greenhouse right back here. And there's the front building there. So you come in from the very front and you just go right to the right there and go right in there. And that's where all the beautiful house plants and tropicals are. So that's where we just came from. But I wanted to come out here and check out their planters. These ceramic ones are gorgeous. They remind me of earth and ocean. You know, the blues and the sandy golds. They're known for nice planters here too. They've got quite a large selection in just about every color you could think of. They have a lot of ceramic pots. I'm not sure. Oh, well, they have terracotta too. Like we're coming, coming up here on the terracotta. Ooh, look at the color of that. I love those aqua blues. I'll come back and look when I have more time. But Michael is waiting right now. So I'm going to take off. And we're gonna go to our next destination. We just got to Trader Joe's and they have all these new Monstera in. They look really good too. So there's a price. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, they're cheaper than I even thought. I thought it said $19.99. <laughs> they're $12.99. What a deal. I definitely, I'm definitely gonna get this one here. Looks good, healthy. And it's already got some of the ribbing at the top of the petiole or the ruffling. Oh, I was not expecting to buy a plant here, but I can't pass up that deal for a Monstera. That one got a little beat up in transport, brand new leaf, but they're gonna be nice. They're gonna turn into very nice plants. And after looking at plants, we saw an estate sale going on and Michael wanted to stop and look at tools. So while he was doing that, I went inside to look and see if there was any kind of plant decor, plant pots, or anything I could use for my plants. I ended up finding this large basket. It's by Crate and Barrel. It was only $14. And these baskets originally can be like $50, $60, $70. So I was like, okay, let me get this. It's a little bit large for what I currently have. Like my little Monstera is not going to be able to move right into this. But for the few Future, this will come in handy, especially when it comes to larger plant pots or baskets. I try to keep my eye open for items that I like at a good deal ahead of time. That way when my plants are ready to move into that size pot, I already have a setup ready and waiting for them. So this basket will fit a 12 to 14 inch pot perfectly. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for the palms or maybe a monstera or a larger philodendron. I do plan on growing some larger aeroids and so this will come in handy perfect for later when I have a plant that's ready. And after after the estate sale, we stopped at At Home and I was looking for plant pots. They have a ton of plant pots here, all different kinds. I really like these ones that are made in Brazil. This brand is, it seems like they have really nice quality pots. I think I've seen them on Amazon too, but they have uh, quite a selection here. I had an idea of what type of pots I was looking for. I was just looking to see if I could find the right size in the right color. I really like the resin pots because I am not interested in like really heavy, large pots, especially if you got big plants. 
I don't want big heavy pots so I was looking for some lightweight pots and when it comes to shopping for the right plant pot for the right plant I want the plant to be what stands out it's the statement piece that your eye goes to rather than the pot I don't want the pot to overshadow the plant or take up too much attention from the plant I want it to just complement and accent the plant and sometimes even though we know the exact look and aesthetic that we're going for it takes a while to actually create that because you're looking for one piece at a time and you're looking for the right piece. I like to spend my time just looking and gathering ideas before I end up purchasing anything because I really want to make sure that when I do purchase something that it's the right thing. And we stopped at Home Goods to see what they had for plant decor and plant pots. You just never know what Home Goods is going to have in stock. They're changing all the time. They always have new stuff coming in every day. And they have their seasonal section right now for spring and summer. So they have lots of plant pots in stock right now. So it was perfect timing to go in and check out what they had. I found this plant pot made in Portugal. I thought that would be really pretty with the white and then the sand color on the bottom. And then I ended up finding this sandstone colored pot. And this is also made in Portugal. So I ended up going with this one. Between the two of them, I thought it would be more practical because of the shape of it. I would be able to fit more types of plant pots or more sizes of plant pots. So I ended up going with just the sandstone pot from Portugal. We also stopped at Lowe's to check out their plant pots and they had some nice ones in stock. They had Allen and Roth. I really like some of those. They had this one that was the speckled texture. It had kind of like that stone texture or powder coated finish on the outside. I was looking for a clear saucer too and I thought I was going to have to go with those flimsy, you know, plastic ones. But I ended up finding these Allen and Roth clear acrylic ones that are nice and thick and sturdy. So I ended up getting a couple of those. I also checked out the plant pots that are inside those in their houseplant section. They had these really cute clear orchid planters. I thought those were really fun. I don't have any orchids and I was trying to think, let's see, do I have anybody that would need to move into a pot like this? Uh, I'm not sure, So, but they're there if I, if I need them. And then they also have the smaller sizes of the Allen and Roth clear acrylic saucers that are nice and sturdy. So they had those that would fit those pots too. All right guys, we're home now and we stopped at Lowe's at a different location and I found this pot. This is an Allen and Roth and it's got like the sandstone kind of pitted texture to it. I love that stone texture with pots. And I think this is gonna be the perfect one for our lady palm here. These are, actually I talked about both these palms already. This is the Rapis excelsa lady palm and this is the Kintia palm. I love both of these palms for growing indoors. They make beautiful interior palms. I just needed to find the right pots because this one is, it has outgrown its nursery pot. It's ready to get into a new upsized pot. So I had to find something fast because it's really pushing out of the pot. So I'm, I'm gonna repot this probably tomorrow, which I'm gonna film a plant chores video all day tomorrow. So uh, we'll, we'll be hanging out for that if you guys want to. So it's about a 14 inch pot. Yeah, I think that, oh yeah, I think that'll be perfect for this palm. It needs space to grow like wider because these are clumping palms and like we saw at Mesquite Valley Growers. So it's going to be like pushing out. It wants to spread. So uh, yeah, that, I think that'll be just right. Okay, so this one has a home now. So I'll get that drilled out today and I'll start, I'll, I'll spend all day tomorrow doing plant chores. Just, you know, all the things that I got to catch up on because there's a lot to catch up on that I have gotten behind with, especially with the plants. And I haven't shared anything with you guys for a while because I was busy working, like springtime's really busy with the gym shows, but anyway, the home goods pot with the candia palm, I think I'm just gonna leave that set up exactly as is. I'm not gonna be drilling out that pot. I'm gonna leave that as just a decorative pot where I can just slip another pot inside and just keep it like that. But yeah, both of them turned out to be perfect size. They're gonna be very usable pots for a long time. I try to be careful when purchasing anything but I, I try to be intentional about any purchases I do make because I don't want to just collect stuff. I want to collect the right things for the right project that I'm doing and the right aesthetic that I'm trying to create, uh, which basically just, aesthetic just translates to the feeling you want to have, you know? Uh, at least it, that's how I look at it. But um, I do have the other Camadoria elegance over here. That is staying away from my other plants right now. 
and you know, while I treat it, I'm treating it like every couple of days just to make sure there's nothing on it. And I'm doing some updates in the living room here, so I'm trying just to show you this little corner because I'm moving some stuff around in the living room, so I don't want you to see anything else because that's gonna be a separate video. Um, so I've got, a, I've got a lot more content that I wanna do though, so there's gonna be more, more coming. I've got some organization, some closet things, some living room updates I wanna share with you, lots to share with you. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get drilling this out and I'm gonna switch to the next video, which is gonna be the all day plant chores. So I will see you there. Love you guys, bye.